Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about one of my most anticipated reads of the year, The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delila Harris. I'm not 100% on that middle name, but uh, I believe I got Zakia right. I wanted to read this because the synopsis sounded absolutely fantastic. Um, I will tell you right up front, if you think this is your average thriller, you are hella wrong. Um, this is not your average thriller. Most of it pertains to office politics. I, please don't click away. <laughs> this book is fantastic. I don't know how Harris did it, but the, oh man, um, the, the, Everything that happens in this place, in this office, in this publishing house, is intriguing and engaging. Um, somehow, she made mundane, everyday work life... Well, it's not mundane to the characters, of course, for, because what's going on. But she, she included that along with uh, like, not really an underground club or anything like that, really. But I, I, do, wanna, I do want to warn people who don't like uh, speculative fiction. Uh, there is some spec fic aspects to this book. It is not your average thriller, but that's what makes the book so damn good. Um, I, I hate to use this comparison because people say everything is like this anytime that the author is black. Uh, it, it feels a lot like Get Out, but I actually enjoyed this more than I enjoyed Get Out. Um, the book handles uh, racism very well, uh, like I said, office politics, climbing the ladder, what people do to climb the ladder, um, it, they, the way certain people can hold other people down to better themselves while at the same time, you know, they're, they're gaining trust. It's just the insidiousness of, of the scenario. So you have this uh, editor named Nella. Um, and you have, she's the only black woman in the office. And then you have a new hire, uh, the way, the way the new, the new hire, Hazel May, is, uh, is introduced. And the way the book ends is absolutely fantastic. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about, about the ending. Um, it, everything comes full circle. And it, I had an O oh moment because I, I, it, you, you've never read anything like this. I promise you, you've never read anything like this. You might have read something adjacent to it that's very close to it, but you've never read anything like this because the the quote-unquote twist at the end is just so weird. I, I never I never would have thought of it. Um, now I want to talk about some stuff that's going to make some of you uncomfortable, um, especially probably the white people. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, the white people out there. This book deals heavily with uh, the shady ass white folks that uh, we that we all know. Um, if you're if you're a decent human being, you've seen these white people, and you can't you can't tell me they don't exist. Um, the book is populated with these white people, uh, and another thing is, I of course am not black, so I can't speak from that uh, that experience. Um, and I don't claim to know anything about that experience. So I went and I spoke with, with my wife. My wife is black. Um, and she, she, gave, she gave me very funny uh, and also very disturbing uh, stories about when she worked for the Department of Transportation here in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, being the only black woman in a group of all these white people um, and the, the friends... The, the 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 friendly ones that would come hey bestie how you doing oh did you see the new black person that just got hired there, there's some of that in this book um i of course have never experienced that but to hear her tell those stories when she hasn't read this book it's it feels like a universal concept if you're a black person and i i i hate that um for you guys uh i don't know what else to say and that's why i i think i think personally Reading as diversely as you possibly can is the best way to open your mind. And I know there's going to be several of you out there that say, I don't care what color, what sex, blah, 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 blah. you're, you're going to get mad. And it's fine. Get mad down there in the comments. But the simple fact is, if you never read outside of your little bubble, that's all you're ever going to know. I mean, it's no secret. Hiroki Murakami even said, if you only ever read one type of book, you're only ever going to think one kind of way. Or if you only read what everyone else is reading, and so on and so forth. Um, 
but I don't want to get too deep into the the whole well I mean the whole books about you know race relations mostly though and I found this fascinating mostly within the black community that's where the drama and everything really happens here it's a, except of course for the 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 publisher and I don't, I don't want to spoil anything there there's more there there's there's definitely the the white you know background but for the most part this is this is the the black community you know how they react to certain things that go on in these cultural situations or office settings or so on and so forth i'm going to leave you with one anecdote um it's not really a joke or anything it's something that i found interesting uh when me and my wife first talked we lived in maine for two years uh brewer which is uh right next door to bangor so i was like maybe 10 minutes away from stephen king um when we were talking about moving there I brought up, you know, that I wanted to move to Maine, you know, maybe bump into the, the famous Stephen King, that kind of thing. And my wife looked at me and said, there's no black people in Maine. <laughs> and I thought about that and I was like, to have to consider whether or not you're going to be comfortable living somewhere. Um, and we ended up there also. We, we ended up there, but it had nothing to do with like forcing her to go. Um, she came over on record and we were only there for two years. Um, and then we moved back down here. Uh, but I, I think that was one, the, the very first time that it opened up my wide eyes, um, to, to look at how you have to be so very careful about where you go and what you do if you are not this shade. I mean, it's fucked up. Um, and I, I think that kind of started me down this road of, you know, trying to educate myself as much as possible and don't look for, you know, black people or any other race or culture or any of that stuff. Don't look for them to educate you. Go out and educate yourself. It's really, really simple. You just go out, you find the stuff yourself. There are so many lists and I, I don't know. There, there's loads of stuff out there um, for you to actually educate yourself. It's not their job to educate you. Anyways, so that has been my diatribe on this book. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm giving it five stars. Um, I, I stayed away from spoilers uh, because this one has one of the greatest twists. It's But it's so weird, too. And that's why it's it's so unique, you know? It's, it's not like who is the killer or anything like that. It's It's more along the lines of what is all what is going on here and it, it, it's fantastic please go out and read it for yourself um it this is one of those this is one of those special books i don't i don't know how else to put it i've never read anything like it so please go out and read it and if you have read it please let me know down there in the doobly doo what you thought about it whether or not you loved it whether or not you hated it whether whether or not you're mad about it but tell me why you were those things why you loved it why you hated it why you were mad so we can have a discussion down there in the doobly doo but until next time i have been e you have been you this has been another book review i'll talk to you guys later bye bye